Hi everyone, it's Shireen. Welcome back to Beauty Editing 101. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your raw pictures more vibrant and how to make your colors pop in Photoshop. For this tutorial, I'm going to be working in Camera Raw, which is a plugin that pops up when you open a raw image in Photoshop. A raw file is an image as seen by the camera sensor. It's basically like unprocessed film, which is perfect for editing because it allows us to process the image and bring out the colors to our liking. If you don't know how to adjust your camera settings to shoot in RAW, just google it and I'm sure it'll come up. Keep in mind that not every camera will have a RAW setting. It's typically in higher end digital cameras like Canons or Nikons. I'm just throwing that out there in case you're trying to find a RAW setting on your iPhone because it's not going to be there. To start off, I already have my RAW image opened in Camera RAW. I just did this by dragging and dropping the file into Photoshop. For this tutorial, I'm only going to be working with the adjustments in this basic tab. We're just going to keep this really simple. I'm going to start off by adjusting the temperature. I want mine to be a little bit warmer, so I'm going to drag it to the right towards the yellow. I'm just going to keep it right here at 3750. I know that it looks crazy right now, but trust me, it'll all come together. Next, we're going to go into the tint. I wanted to have more of a magenta tint, so I'm just going to drag it to the right. I'm going to keep mine at plus 62. As you can see, there's already a huge difference in the contrast from the before and the after. The pink is just a lot more vibrant and brighter, and I just want it to be like this nice bubblegum pink. This is exactly the color I was going for. Now we're just going to go in and fine tune it a little bit further. I'm going to go into exposure and I'm going to bump it up a little bit. Let's do 0.10. And for contrast, I'm going to take this down because I just don't want it to be as contrasty. So I'm going to set my contrast to minus 42. I'm going to keep my highlights at zero. I think they're fine just the way that they are. And then for shadows, I'm just going to take this down a little bit to minus two. For whites, I'm going to bump this up because I want my whites to just pop a little bit further. So I'm going to take this up to a plus 38. And then for my blacks, I'm just slightly going to take this down to minus three. For clarity, I'm going to take this up to plus 11. And this is just going to help our image look more sharper and clear. I'm not going to adjust my vibrance or saturation. So now we pretty much have the bulk of our image edited. The only part that we need to adjust now is the lighting on the face, the shirt, and arms. Right now, my face and my body is just reflecting the same pink tone that is on the wall. I want my face to look more like my natural skin tone and not as pink hued. So we're going to go in and adjust this using a radial filter. A radial filter can be found right here. It's this one that looks like an oval and if you just hover over it for a second, it'll say radial filter. So now what you want to do is go ahead and drag and create a nice circle. This is going to create that filter over whatever area that you're working on. So we're going to start off with the face. And I'm going to adjust this so that it's only just on my face. Now we're going to go back and adjust all these different settings like we did before. For temperature, I'm going to take this down a little bit to minus 13. For the tint, I want this to go towards the green side a little bit. So I'm going to take this to right here, a minus 64. I'm going to keep my exposure the same. I'm fine with that. Um, contrast, we'll keep that the same as well. Highlights are fine, shadows are fine, whites are fine, blacks are fine. I want my face to be a little bit more in focus, so we're going to bump up this clarity to plus 9. And then I'm just going to keep the haze the same and then scrolling down all these, I'm just going to keep the same. So now that we're done with our face, I'm going to move on to arms. To create another one, we're just simply going to do the same thing. Just drag and create another radial filter. For my arms, I'm going to work in segments. 
So I'm going to start off with just this upper arm portion. I'm going to bring this down and make it skinnier so that it matches my arm. You don't want this filter to drag over to your shirt or onto the tiles too much because then it'll just transfer that effect onto the tile and it won't look as nice. Now we're going to go back and adjust these settings. For the arms, they're going to be a little bit different only because the color is different than it was on my face. I'm going to take the temperature down to a minus 19 and I'm going to bring the tint to the right until, let's see, minus 41. I'm going to keep these all the same. For clarity, I'm just going to bring this down. I want my face to be the focal point, so for that reason, I'm keeping that the most clear. And then just like the other one, I'm going to keep everything else the same. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make another one for the lower part of my arm. And the cool thing about these radial filters is that they'll keep their settings exactly the same as the last one. So for this, we don't have to adjust anything. We just have to place it where we want it. So I think that looks nice. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing on this arm. The cool thing about these radial filters is that you can also adjust them diagonally so that they can go over any area that you want. I'm basically just putting this filter over any area of skin that is peeking through so that our skin looks more balanced. Now I'm going back in and fine tuning, so any spots that are still kind of pink reddish, I'm going to go back and add this radial filter to it to just cast away that redness. I'm going to go back to my face and I'm actually going to extend this down towards my neck so that my neck looks like it matches my face. Much better. Now we're going to move on to the shirt. You'll notice that the shirt changed colors from this original image. I don't want it to be exactly the same, but I just want to take out this pinkiness from it. So we're going to go in with another radial filter and start adjusting the shirt. For the temperature, I'm going to take this to a minus 22. For the tint, I'm just going to take this down slightly to minus 62. For exposure, I'm going to bring this down to right here a minus 0 0.45. For contrast, I'm going to do a minus 25. Highlights, I'm going to bump this up to a 36. For shadows, I'm also going to increase this to plus 19. For whites, I'm going to bring this down to minus 37. For blacks, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit to plus 3. And then for clarity, we're just going to set this at 0. And then everything else will be the same. Now I'm just going to go back and apply this to the sleeves as well. As you can see, it's just casting out that pink that was there before. So now we still have these little edges of pink on the side, so we're just going to go back and make smaller radial filters and place those over those pink areas. So now our image is going to look crazy with all these dots all over them. If you want to see what it looks like without the dots, just go ahead and click on this magnifying glass tool and it'll just take all of them away. So right now, the areas where the radial filters are overlapping are causing this darkness to occur all over the shirt. We don't want that to happen, so I'm going to go back and fine tune them further. I'm going to delete these because I don't want these extra shadows. And personally, I'm okay with having just a little bit of pink peep through. It just makes the shirt look a little bit more vintage in my opinion. It's all really just trial and error and just seeing what works for you. So I'm still not liking these darker areas on the sleeves. So I'm just going to go back and take those out. Now it just looks more even to me. The other part that I'm not really liking is these corners. So I'm just going to go back and delete those as well. 
To help get rid of those pink shadows on the corners a little bit further, I'm just going to drag out this radial filter to the sides and it's going to make the radius larger so that it'll cover more of the shirt. I'm also going to go back and do this to the sleeves. I'm also going to adjust these arm ones a little bit more just to cover this little bit of extra pink that is peeping through. And that is it. I am happy with the way that this image looks. It definitely is a lot brighter. The pinks are more bubblegummy like I wanted them to be. And you saw how we adjusted the colors on the face, the arms, and the shirt. So that wraps it up for this video about how to make your pictures more vibrant and how to make your colors pop in Photoshop. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know which editing tutorial you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!